Hi, this is North County PC Solutions, and today we're going to take a look at a good way to back up your entire system. Um, in this day and age, especially with Microsoft making some changes, um, a lot of the OEM uh, installs of Windows uh, 97, you're not able to reinstall them if your hard drive crashes. Um, I've tried to install the original operating system on the original computer from the factory, and the install codes are no longer good. Uh, they're kind of forcing you to use Windows 8, which uh, most of us in the tech field really don't like. Um, having said that, if you have a, a, a backup image of your hard drive before something happens, then you can restore it back to that hard drive without doing an install. It's actually a direct disk to disk copy back without having to do any install codes. You won't lose any of your software, any of your settings, or any of your favorite stuff on there your photos, family pictures, any of that stuff. Okay, having said that, we're going to use something here called EaseUs To Do Backup, and I'm using the free edition, which it has a little bit limited features. The free edition, you can only do a, a copy of an exact system. Uh, you can't do differential hardware, uh, meaning if you change your hard drive or something, uh, it may not restore back to that hard drive. Um, there are programs just for disk to disk that will move from one hard drive to another, but this is a whole backup and restore system that's good for rescuing you right back onto that drive. So let's take a peek at it. By the way, you can get this free at CNET.com too. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Here you'll see a really simple menu laid out for you here, uh, Disk Partition System Backup. Now it sounds unusual, but this one here actually backs up your entire system in the whole disk. The, uh, the system backup just copies your system files themselves. So if you want to do your entire uh, C drive, you know, uh, your operating system and your, your software and everything, you want to use Disk and Partition Backup. And you'll notice some other utilities here too recovery back to it. Um, if your hard drive is kind of okay and you're able to boot into Windows, you can recover it completely by going here. Um, and then you'll see here, this is where you can actually clone a drive. Now this might possibly clone to another drive. Uh, that's differential hardware. I haven't tried that yet. Meaning a, a different drive it might run the OS on. System tools is really important here. Um, one of the things you're going to be able to do after you create this image is create a bootable disk. Um, it's really easy. You just stick a disk in, click this, follow directions. What this does is it creates you a pre-installed environment. Um, uh, uh, what happens is you'll be able to boot off of this CD if your hard drive is completely crashed. And then you can tell uh, this system to look for the image that you created ahead of time and then it'll reinstall it and it'll run this program right off the CD. If your hard drive, your system's completely down, you can always get back to it this way. It's a really good way to back up your stuff. Uh, let's start with a backup though. We're going to do the full thing, so we're going to do the disk and partition backup. And you'll see here, uh, it's, it shows it more than one disk. And it's already, it's intuitive. It already knows this is the C drive. So this is going to be your main drive. And you'll notice that it's got the separate partition. Here, this is the main part of your drive. And here's the your boot partition. And those are the ones you want. You don't need to mark any of these others if you don't want, which I wouldn't recommend. If, if you were going to copy your other drives, I'd image them separately and label them differently. So um, for, this, uh, for this example, we're just going to go ahead and do just the C drive stuff that we need. And you'll notice that that says um, disk and partition. This is your source up here. This is what you're going to be copying. Down here, this is your destination. This means this is where you're going to copy it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder by going go to the computer and I'm going to pick a hard drive and for this example I'm going to use my big hard drive I got a 3 terabyte Western Digital in here and then we're going to go 
we'll go right here because it's going to create its own folder. So I'm going to tell it, okay, in, in the root folder, the, the Western Digital 3 gig drive, and I'm going to hit OK. Double check everything. Okay, looks good. Hit proceed. You'll notice that it's uh, reading your hard drive, it's checking your partitions, it's uh, it'll check your entire system so it make sure it gets your boot sequence right and stuff like that. Um, okay, after it checks everything out, it actually starts to write your drive. It's starting to back up the system now. And as it backs up the system, it'll compress it too. So um, from what I've seen, uh, a pretty simple Windows 7 setup ends up about between 20 to 27 gigs after it's backed up and compressed. So it doesn't take a lot of space at all. And it does only back up what you have on the hard drive. So if you have a, a 200 gig hard drive and you only have 30 gigs worth of um, software and stuff on there at OS, then it's only going to copy that 30 gigs and it's going to compress it. So it's probably going to end up about a third less than that, probably about 20 gigs worth of hard drive space. Um, whenever you're backing up a hard drive, um, I, I recommend doing it in two places if you can. Uh, in one place, on your main drive in your computer, you know, your C drive, I would suggest putting a partition in there if you know how to do that, and I can show how to do that later. And I would put a copy of the image on there, so if your system crashes or it's just kind of messed up if you get a virus or something, you can restore it right from your desktop from your, your, your partition on your main drive uh, without having to look for anything. The other place I would put that, and I, I would put it in both if at all possible, is I would make another copy of the um, system image on an external hard drive. If something completely happens and your, compu your computer completely crashes um, or if it, it becomes corrupted with a really bad virus, you might want something outside of your computer's environment. You might, might want a, a clean external drive that hasn't been attacked. And what happens then is you'll boot up off that, uh, that bootable DVD I was showing you and then you'll have it go straight to that external hard drive to look for the system image. And when you restore it, it's going to wipe that hard drive clean just the way it was before you ever uh, had any problems. Now this process here, um, it says here it's going to take about 40 minutes longer to create this. I have a pretty big system here. I have about 200 gigs worth of stuff. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just stop and I'm going to um, show you what happens after it's done creating the image. Okay, I already have an image, so what we're going to do is, let's just see what happens if you do need to restore. I'd open this back up, and don't forget, right, right after you make your image of, of your system, go to Tools and make yourself a bootable disk. Put, it, put a DV in there, have it burn it up pre-install environment to that with all your boot settings. But recovery, it's the same thing backwards. You're going to go to disk and partition and what it's going to do is it's going to look for the system backups that you made. And you'll see here that I made some a little while back.
or you can do a search. And there's the images. And then after you find the image that you, were, you backed it up on, you just hit next. And it'll restore your system. Um, the, the interface when you boot off of this CD, the, the DVD, um, looks very similar to this one, but it, um, it only has the restore features. Okay, here's some more. Uh, if you go to manage, here's some more of those backups. You can actually back up the files too. And the upgrade here, here's some of the features you get if you uh, pay for it. One thing that this doesn't show is on the new edition of EaseUS Backup is it'll also uh, back up Android systems as well. So it's really cool. Okay, well this is it and uh, thanks for watching. This has been North County PC Solutions. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.